Wynton Marsalis was born to be a musician. What else would you expect of someone born into the first family of jazz? Yes, music is his DNA. I actually try to imagine what it must have been like in the Marsalis home with the sounds of five acclaimed musicians all under one roof. There must have been music all the time. But then I also wonder, how does a young boy find his own unique voice with all those notes wafting through the air? When Winton was eight years old, his father, famed musician and educator Ellis Marsalis, had Winton join the Fairview Baptist Church Brass Band led by the legendary Danny Barker. Danny Barker played with the likes of Louis Armstrong, Sidney Boucher, and Cab Galloway. But that didn't really mean much to an eight-year-old kid. Young Winton didn't know it, all, it at the time, but he would learn more than a new song that day. As he says in his book, Moving to Higher Ground, and I quote, that day, he taught us the most profound lesson about playing jazz and about the possibility of a life of self-expression and mutual respect that I have ever encountered. In teaching his musicians the role of each of their instruments, Mr. Barker also taught them to hear their own distinct sound while listening to and leaving space for the sounds of others. On that first day, Winton just heard noise, but Danny Barker heard something else. He heard the creative and unique voice of each kid in that band. He taught them how to hear it too. In that disjointed, discordant jumbo of notes was an important lesson, not only in jazz, but in life. And I quote, Respect your own creativity and respect the creativity and creative space of other people. Winton learned that lesson well, earning multiple awards, including nine Grammys and a Pulitzer Prize for music. It is with great honor that I welcome world-renowned jazz musician and New Orleans' own Winton Marcells. Thank you very much. President Cowan, Chairman Berger, distinguished guests, Dr. Gregorian and Dr. White, Mr. Day and Mr. Breeze, faculty, staff, and graduates of the magnificent class of 2014.